everybody welcome back to enigma 77 review so today is going to be um an introduction and then i'm going to leave you to it i don't know how this video is going to fare out please forgive me um i will do it on time lapse because you don't want to sit there for two hours watching it so the uh, review we're going to do today is the lovely zero and jack skeleton this intro is going to be about the tattoo and the piercing and then afterwards you're going to see two videos one that you're going to be really confused about but i'm going to explain it to you now so guys i went in for this tattoo i had the jack skeleton with the house with zero at the bottom this was not coloured in guys by the way it was left as an open space he did ask if i wanted it white and i said no leave it as it is it looks nice um i was contemplating whether to have the windows yellow but then i thought no i like it as it is yellow would look too unrealistic i like it as it is it just looks like the lights out nobody's home and he did put some white in jack and the jacket and everything i absolutely love what he's done it's amazing did it hurt not really i don't mind tattoos only in certain places i find it hurts but um, like here and stuff but um yeah i'm quite excited to i could go tomorrow guys and get the next one done i'm ready it don't bother me tattoos piercings bother me more than tattoos um but yeah that's what i'm gonna have done it took roughly about an hour and a half guys because half an hour you get your stencil on you've got to wait for it to dry and then he's he's prepping and so forth making sure everything's sterile and clean everything like that i'm comfortable because my brother knows that i've got a bad back i was comfortable through throughout he didn't mind me videoing it throughout it's very hard to video from this angle i didn't have something holding up if i had a stand i could have done it that way but as you see my dad takes over every now and again and films around it um but yeah i absolutely love it healing process it's on the um tuesday wednesday thursday it's the second day of having it done third we're on the third day as you can see it's healing lovely i'm not dousing it in too much cream like i normally do in my tattoos i wash it in the morning with warm soapy water and then i put a tiny tiny little bit of um papanthan at the bottom and at the top and just moisturize it in and i leave it and that is all i put in for that day if it gets really dry and itchy then i will put some papanthan on but we've not got to that stage it's still quite sore it's still quite tender it's still quite hot still quite stingy so for that matter i will leave it until it's ready i left the cling film on for an hour and then i took it off because i feel like it sweats the tattoo out and not in a very nice way and then i clean it so um i've always had no issues with my tattoo the only reason i had an issue with guy's tattoo was simply down to a reaction to his white ink nothing else nothing more it healed it healed and then i had the reaction and i only had the reaction where white was put in but as you can see it's fine i get a little bit of a reaction every now and again when i put certain creams on my arms nothing to do with the tattoo um so i will leave you to watch this after after this and i won't come back so that will be the end of that and i'll put some pictures at the end now i did go to have my septum pierced guys the next day i was booked in i was happy i was ready clean my nose i didn't pull any hairs out because i don't really have any now what i didn't i knew i've known all my life that i've had a really funny shaped nose not so much here although i have had the bridge of my nose broken as a kid um long story don't want to go in that um but i've always known that my um nostrils and the bone in between your nose the cartilage between your nose has always been crooked and i've never knew the name of it ever now when i went to see vicky i filled all the information in i, I knew i was being um pierced with the special the proper jury which Paige gave me a heads up about and i asked about that and it was all exactly the same stuff and i was happy vicky's done all my piercings in the past she's she's done my belly button before she's done my nose twice she's done my lip she's done my ears before i trust her i didn't have any qualms with vicky doing it whatsoever her husband scott is a tattooist so it was a tattoo parlor but it was a piercing parlor as well so don't get confused when i take you into the second tattoo shop that's actually scott's tattoo shop but his wife vicky also does piercing now I will put all the information down for my brother's two shops and for Scott and Vicky's shop. So you can go and check out the piercings and so forth. Uh, I can't recommend Scott as a tattooist because I've never had any ink off, ta uh, off Scott ever. But from what I can see, he does really good tattooing. But um, obviously I support my brothers because it's my brother and he does all my tattoos. So, and I, I know that they're absolutely amazing. If Scott worked in with my brother, I'd... I'd bump up his tattoos but he doesn't so for that reason i i recommend 
both the shops in as a whole but i also will always recommend my brother because yes he's my brother but he's a shout out to you you know what i mean he's he does what he does and it's great so guys with that said when i went into vicky she said let's have a look because she could i think she could tell straight there there's something that wasn't quite right with a straight um anatomy of my nose so obviously i told her that there is something wrong with my nose and she may need to check it first so as you look up guys as you can see my nose this one here goes up at a point this one's round but if you look here they are not even now if i go like this i can breathe through this one but if i do this i can't breathe through this one properly and i've always known that i can't breathe very well through my nose in general so um I, it's just the way it is um i sleep with my mouth slightly open i don't breathe through my nose at bedtime i breathe through my mouth but when vicky had a feel at the top of my septum which was up here she could feel a really nice soft spot here which is perfect for her to clamp and go through but unfortunately on this side there is a lump quite a prominent lump and she said what will happen is you know it's a, it's a bit of a blind piercing she went so obviously I, i'll have the clamp on it but you know it's going to go and it's it's still going to sit at an angle so it's going to be a very crooked piece and she did sit one in and it did sit very crooked just to show that the lump in the top of my nose will make the piercing sit funny she said you can mess with it as much as you want to straighten it but it'll always sit back in that that position she says i really wouldn't want to pierce it because the lump is quite prominent up your nose and that is one of the reasons she didn't she said i could piece it if you wanted to i could come further down if you wanted it to be done a bit further down she went, but i just don't recommend it because it just doesn't look right and i you need it to be like sitting properly so for that reason i valued her honesty and i respected her honesty um, some people might have just said you know what i don't care it's my nose go ahead pierce it and then afterwards give her the flack for it that's not how i roll i'd rather the piercer be honest with me and vicky was 100 honest and said straight away i can tell you now you've got this issue she may have said what it was called but i didn't take it in because i was just really gutted that i couldn't have this piercing done she did offer either to have my lip pierced or here pierced or here pierced or my ear or this and i just said no it's fine if i was to have any more piercings i would have had the other side of my lip done i said and i'm really not ready for that just yet although this is probably would have been worse she would have she did actually said it would hurt more a hell of a lot more piercing through that lump as well which is not recommended so guys i didn't have it done now Paige Backbones is a body piercer so she knows um, what she's talking about she'd give me heads up when it came to the septum piercing and I said to her this is what happened and straight away she said yeah you've got a, as a, a deviant septum a defiant defiant deviant septum and basically it's a crooked septum so i've got a crooked septum uh my grandma god bless her she's not here anymore she had to have this like chiseled down and and straightened back i mean my nose is not particularly crooked like this or like this but this is it's always been crooked here if i was to straighten it here it's just weird guys i can't explain it but i didn't have it done for that reason but I'll show you the footage of the shop and stuff and um, see what you think. And I've put some pictures on. And um, yeah, all I can say is I love my tattoo. So thank you, Stee at Tattooed, Inked, Inked at the tattoo shop in Bear Cup. And um, I will be back in summer to get Sally done. I will be paying for Sally to be done. Although my brother probably will not accept it. But he's got a choice. He either takes the money or he takes another bottle of uh, £50 whiskey. So it's entirely up to him. All right, guys. Enjoy the video and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these kind of videos. They're not going to be frequent because I can't just keep going for tattoos. My brother lives 100 miles away from me. His tattoo shop's even further. So I only get tattoos done when I go to my old hometown to see my family. So... I probably won't be getting another one done now for maybe another six months, but I look forward to my next one. All right, guys, take care of yourself. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now. Okay, guys, here we are at Inked Tattoo Studio and it's Bake Up. This is my brother's shop, one.
he's got two, one in Rochdale, he only works in there one day a week. And you can look this up on www.inkedbakeup.co.uk. He's also on Facebook. I will share all the links below. And if you are passing by or close by, I recommend, and I don't just say that because he's my brother. I say that because he's a good tattooist. So I think he's tattooing at the minute. So I'm just going to nip my head in and tell him I'm going to go for a mooch and then I'll pop back. So let's go in and have a look. <coughs> Let me just show you some of the work on the window, guys. So we've got Guy, who's the guy who did my, <laughs> who's the guy who did my tattoo. And we've got an apprentice called John working here. And then obviously there's my brother. So there we go, guys. Let's get in. A lot of people having their tattoos done so I don't really want to cram their space their privacy so I will just do mine and uh, we'll see you at the end Outlines on, arm shaved, detto on, coffee because I've got the um, shakes. Welcome to my world of anxiety. <laughs> and um, I'll get filming in a minute. One tattoo going on at the minute. The ladies have disappeared for now. but eh? And that was my dad's guitar. So that's my brother. That's Guy, and that's John. So, let's see when I get started, guys. Mm -hmm. 